Hello everyone and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In a previous video, we saw how to add inclusion queries. Uh, namely, we have a bunch of uh, a list of job types and we would like to fetch all the jobs in the database uh, in a CMS in this case that match that list of jobs. Similarly, for the experience levels, we have a range of uh, experience levels and we would like to find the jobs that are um, matching either of those uh, provided values okay and if i go back once again to the final product the final application you can see that in action here we can fetch junior media uh, and you, you see that refresh the jobs matching that particular uh, request right and same thing for uh, the job types here right so if i get the full the part-time and the contract you see we fetch only those jobs now that's 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 cool but how about uh, doing it for nested um, attribute because remember the way uh, jobs are linked to um, tags is via this uh, nested relation nested uh, field called skills tags okay so well the, the way to do that is very simple because we, uh, first of all we need to filter the jobs based on the different skills uh, that's a good user experience so let's see how we can add a similar query uh, to, the, to the one we added for job types and experience level but for a nested uh, field so let's come back to VS code and let's add another level of filtering here let's add, add nested okay let's save that and I'm going to just call this selected tags selected tags okay and make sure that it's not empty right and what i'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna call the attribute skill tags like this very good and i'm gonna put selected tags very very simple um but is it gonna work no it's not gonna work because let me see let me let me show you well if i filter here like this i come here and i uh, put selected tags and I add uh, some of the tags that we know for sure in the database. So let's see some of them. Tags, go to Content Manager. All right, so let's see. You have Next.js, Tailwind, React.js, and so on. So let's filter by those. So let's put, for example, Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS. Okay. Tailwind CSS. Let's add another one. Which one? React.js, which we know for sure we have jobs that are. Um, that have this filter that tag okay bingo let's now refresh and see if we get anything well it's not gonna get anything at all okay well uh and the reason is it's actually failing the request is failing if you look at the console console log here you're gonna see that's a, it's, it's, it's an error well why is it failing you're trying to do exactly the same thing we did for um the inclusion uh, for the job type and the experience level. Well, remember, skill styles is a relation attribute. Okay, so we need to nest before we can do the inclusion query, and that's exactly what we need to do here. So if I wrap this around and we do name, okay, so we do a nested query, and remember the skills. If you go again to the model here, okay, tax content tag we have name this is the relation and then the tag the the, the 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 tag type okay so basically we need to filter by the name all right so now this should definitely work so if i refresh here bingo you see now it works we get the jobs that are uh, relevant okay only the three jobs that are relevant for our query and uh, they are all tagged with the, the relevant tags that we need so for example this one has next year's it has Darwin CSS and it also has react okay so if I only get the the ones that are um, let's say I get the tensorflow jobs so if I push here tensorflow okay and I remove this one oops remove this okay so you're gonna get just a couple of jobs that are relevant for this and these are gonna be AI jobs you see senior machine learning engineer and we only have two of them okay so one um, only, we only sorry we only have one of them actually only one uh, that match our 
our uh, query. All right. So um, that's it for the nested inclusion search. In the next video, we're going to see how to finally, finally deal with um, our search filter here. Okay. Which is obviously probably the most important out of all of these. So in the next video, we're going to see how to do that. And very important, it, our search should be able to search not only in the title, uh, it should also be able to search by company name, by company city, uh, by uh, the, the about you. I mean, it should be able to search every single text that is uh, uh, either in the company or in the job. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.